But we are expecting some warm up this week, right? Oh yeah, we're not done with summer yet, but definitely uh, you get to the Labor Day and things just magically change. And boy, did it ever this weekend with the clouds. No rain really to say, but we had the clouds, the cool breeze and cool temperatures, especially in the morning. This morning we woke up to the low to mid 50s in the inland areas. We stayed around 63 in Milwaukee, 62 Kenosha. 49 this morning in the Dells, and that's not even the coldest. The coldest was 42 in Superior. Rhinelander 43. The folks that went up north to the cottages did not have to worry about hot, humid days without the AC in the cottage, but it was chilly sitting around those campfires. It was 37 this morning in Marquette, Michigan. So the last seven days, last week was warm, it was humid, and then there you go. You get to the holiday weekend, and not bad. It was just cool. If you had outdoor plans on a boat or going to the beach or on a motorcycle, it was on the cool side, but at least it wasn't pouring rain all weekend. The Almanac here in Milwaukee, we had 71 after that morning low of 63. So not a big range in temperatures. A little bit of humidity in the air helped keep the temperatures up during the overnight hours, that dampness in the air. And then during the day, that northeast wind kept us in the low 70s. At least we had sunshine for most of us to help make it feel a little bit better. Temperatures right now, well, they've dropped like a rock once again in the upper 50s from Beaver Dam to Watertown to Waukesha. Everyone else holding steady in the low to mid 60s. So summer does make a return this week. Lots of sunshine and we are seeing some mist right now and that'll linger into the morning with a little bit of patchy fog. Other than that, that's it for rain until Saturday. So if you didn't see any rain, which most of us did not over the weekend, Things are going to start drying out a little bit. The reason for the clouds this weekend, well, we knew Saturday was going to be cloudy with a chance for showers, but that storm system was just stuck over northern Indiana and would not leave yesterday. It finally kicked out. As again, most of us saw some sunshine today. Now high pressure is going to be our weather maker, not only for tomorrow, but for the next couple of days. It's going to sit right over Lake Superior and just kind of drift to the southeast. So we'll keep a little bit cooler at the lakefront the next couple of days, uh, but then starting to warm things up as we get toward the end of the week for everyone. But tonight, 55 in Watertown, 57 in Waukesha, and 64 in Racine. Again, some patchy fog possible in the morning. We will have some cloud cover as well, some sprinkles or some drizzle out there. And then as the afternoon wears on, we'll see more sunshine and temperatures getting into the mid 70s. Still a couple of degrees below normal, but very comfortable. So overnight tonight, that cloud cover, the patchy fog, drizzle and some sprinkles, temperatures in the 50s and 60s. By afternoon, plenty of sunshine, a nice day. Light northeast wind will keep the lakefront in the lower 70s. And we could get into the mid 70s away from the lakefront. Your seven day forecast. Here comes summer, 78 on Wednesday, 83 on Thursday, and it'll be humid as well. Lots of sunshine. Friday, 84 and humid. And then as we get into the weekend, bad timing. Good chance of scattered thunder showers on Saturday 77 and some morning rain on Sunday 73. Our weather kid Caden five years old does have the umbrella just for that little bit of mist in the morning, but patchy fog by afternoon. Those short sleeves will come in handy with temps in the 70s. All right, Caden and Brian, thank you.